Jumping for oh Sam just jumped way out there by that log. Here we go. What's going on guys? Hey, I appreciate every single one of you guys uh watching and subscribing to my videos. Uh really I'm gonna show you guys uh what I use for bank fishing for salmon on the Sacramento River. Uh first we'll start with the pole. I got a seven foot medium heavy action. Uh, Garcia just a pretty cheap setup uh, about 150 bucks at a uh, Bass Pro not bad at all and uh, it's a little short and seven foot now I broke the tip and uh, repaired it but she's good to go I'll uh, have to get a new pole here real soon but I got a uh, flying C right here and I like to use the bullet weight and let it slip up and down uh, it's a quarter ounce bullet weight there. Let it get that get out there a little bit further, and also sink. You want it to go to the bottom. The salmon right now are a little harder to catch. They are here. Uh, there's they're showing up at the American River, uh, which means they're they're flowing through the sack pretty fast. Probably at night uh, when it's cooler. Uh, they like the cool temperature of the water. So uh, your best bet to catch a salmon is definitely going to be early, early morning uh, when it's its coolest. And the law is an uh, hour before sunset and an hour after sunset. Alright, so uh, get it about, I don't know, a foot or so out right here. Don't fall on the cast in here on these rocks. And uh, so what I like to do is uh, the river's... This is straight out right here. The river's going to to my right. And so I like to kind of give it a little bit so you so you get, let it have time to sink. Just like that. And so this is a spinner, guys. So so right when it drops, let it sink a little bit like that. And you want to give it a good yank to set that spin. See now, now we got a good spin going on here, and you can't. You kind of have to go against the current. You can't really throw a spinner going with the current. It's a little tough. Um, but this is a good little bass spot. So let's see if we can get a hook up on something. See, there's a bad throw right there. That was a perfect example of it getting messed up. There is a different way you could set these up. Um, I do like the bullet weight. Sometimes that happens when it doesn't get to spin. It doesn't work right. Uh, you can get just a little shot weights and, you know, put one, put a few or one or whatever size you like down about that far and kind of have it like that. Uh, but I personally like it down like there. It works great. Sometimes you get the, get the bad throws, but that's just part of fishing. Throw it, kind of throw it in an angle a little bit with the current, like going with the current just a little bit, let it sink and give it a little yank and you can feel that spinner working. You'll really be able to feel it. If that spinner's spinning, you'll definitely be able to feel it. If not, it, it'll be real easy to reel in. So let's see what we get here. See if we can get a bass on this guy. There's a lot of bass right here. That's why I say that. This is this this spinner right here is made for salmon. Uh, so here we go. And there is salmon. I've seen salmon jump right here uh, a, a week or two back. There was a few salmon jumping just out here. Maybe we'll see one today. All right. So about a foot out like this. Current's going this way to my right. Cast that puppy out there just like that. Let it sink. Or you want to get it near that center of the of the river, right on the bottom. Yank and pull. And if you feel like it's not working, you can try and get it unstuck by kind of jerking a little bit. Sometimes that'll get it to start spinning again. Last year when I caught a salmon, guys. Uh, I actually saw it jumping right in front of me and it was late in the year and I didn't know what it was at first 
and uh, so I started casting out that way and uh, hooked up on it and found out it was a salmon but it ended up getting off uh, but I definitely saw saw what the heck it was and uh, pretty cool so super silver salmon uh, late fall fall run that's what they're waiting for they're waiting for that that fall they're waiting for the cool cool temperatures and then they'll start really really biting things in the river it's a good sign though they're already showing up the Americans so the numbers are pretty good this year should start seeing more and more people catch on the Sac River just takes patience with salmon and a lot of time and also when you're uh, going for salmon they like the deep so you want to try and find uh, the deepest spot on the river which is usually around a bend uh, I've been out here on my boat with a fish finder and I know the depth right here it's around 20 to 26 and then out there around this curve which you can't fish off the bank you can't get to it um, it gets around 36 right there there's like a big hole right there but there's a bunch of debris and uh, logs and stuff around there so there's a bunch of snags so if you're gonna fish around here you got to fish just before this bend to miss the snag you can let some drag out let it sink a little extra and then set that spinner make sure that spinner's spinning and once it goes spinning start slowing it down and remember they'll follow that thing all the way up to the bank and then they'll strike. Oh. That little bass grass on there. And just always check. That's what I was doing. I was just checking to make sure it was spinning. And yep, it's still spinning. Sometimes you get some stuff in, in between the spinner and the, and the uh, rod here. And you need to check it. Or your line might get twisted up in there. So just make sure she spins and cast her back out. But put your time out, keep trying and it'll happen. Some of the best eating fish that I've had. Nice and easy.